Hello everyone and welcome. And this will be a general weekly reading for the sign of Aquarius for the week of October 23rd. And I'd like to give a very special thank you to all of you who have been subscribing to my channel and helping it grow and getting it noticed and giving it a thumbs up on the videos that you've watched and enjoyed. And to all the beautiful, wonderful comments that you've left. Thank you very much for all of that. All right. And the moon card. So things are starting to change around you this week. A little bit, I won't say unnoticed or suddenly, because you felt this for quite some time. You've realized things were changing around you. Just because you can you know, sense it. You can pick it up off of other people's, you know, their moods are changing, their attitudes are changing towards what you're saying and the way you live in your life in some cases for some of you, but it's nothing you're going to lose any sleep over. You're making sure that you're taking care of yourself finally this week. You realize that, you know, you've let a few things in your life slide temporarily, but this is the week that you're realizing that I'm no longer going to lose sleep over my choices and you're going to move forward. You're removing obstacles out of your way. You've decided which path you're going to take and you're not getting swayed off, you know, your decisions this week. You're determined to make things go the way you can foresee them. Wow, and beautiful. And look at that. The Ten of Cups gorgeous you know this is like divine help divine love people around you are starting to understand where you're coming from and you're just feeling content you've gotten it off your chest you've decided which way you're going to go and you're doing it for yourself and you're quite happy about this and other people can sense it from you they can feel your contentment and your understanding of life and you're just happy this week you're more at ease with many of your decisions. You're not second guessing yourself anymore. And the seven of pentacles. Yeah, this has been a long haul for you. You know, you've been trying to do this for a long time and it's been a lot of hard work. You've had to make some really big decisions in your life in order to see the future the way you want it to go and the way you know it should go. So your, you know, your results will come, but they're not coming as quick as you had anticipated or wished for them to fall, fall into place, but you're okay with it because you know that you can clearly see that it will happen. So you, you know, invested in yourself, which is wonderful. And the hanged man, yep. Yeah. You've now come to some sort of decision in your life, some sort of completion, and you're setting yourself free. You've looked at all the things that's going on in your life and you've listened to all everybody's opinions, but you do have your own for sure. And you're not surrendering to any one way of looking at something. You know, you're hanging on to your own values and you're decided this week that you're going to listen to yourself. You know, you give wonderful advice and you're, this is the week that you're looking in that mirror and you're taking your own advice for a change, which will change a lot of things in your life for the better. Yeah, for sure. And the Ace of Cups, beautiful. So you're finding your, you love everything around you, everybody around you. You know, you're just compassionate about every aspect of your life, your creativity, you're feeling more stronger within yourself, you're more um, committed to different things in your life as well. You're not following any influences, it's what is being given to you and you're using it to your best interest. You know, this could be a new addition to the family as well for many of you, a very happy occasion and it's going to be you know, almost like love is pouring into your cup of life and it's overflowing to every other aspect of your life, which is beautiful. And the Fool card, look at you, new beginnings, possibilities, you're increasing all areas of your life, your money, your home, your opportunities, you know, you're just starting over 
and it's beautiful. You know, you're trusting in life again. You're take you're willing to take that first step for change in your life. And you're ready for a new adventure. You know, opportunities are here being offered to you and now you need to decide what's your next step, which one you're going to do for yourself. Oh, beautiful. And there it comes, a celebration, friendships, collaboration, creativity, you know, partnerships, friendships. You know, you're getting along with your own community, your friends, your family, and you're happy. It makes you happy. Maybe you've got an invite to go to a wedding or a baby shower for some of you. You know, there's a celebration here that you're, we're on the fence about going for quite a while and now you've decided that oh well let's just go and and you're going to be happy that you did because it's going to make your your day so much worth it and you've got a lot of more happy memories and friendships and and you're more content and people are sensing that from you so they're drawn to you more this week and the ace of swords look at you yeah opportunities new beginnings material clarity Maybe you're all getting your books in order this week. You know, you got new ideas and they'll turn out successful for you. You know, the universe is just cutting all the BS out of your way so that you can clearly see, you know, what your mind is already telling you. And you're not putting on blinders anymore. You're taking that leap of faith because it's time. And maybe this is something you've decided to do quite a while ago and now the universe is saying okay are you prepared are you ready let's do this let's cut through this let's make that next step let's move forward and off you go Ooh, and there it is three of rods look at you there you are all your prospects you you know you're looking out at all the different opportunities that you have you've set your ships a sail to see where they land in the future so that you can take advantage of different opportunities and understand that they're actually meant for you. You're standing quite sound on the ground that you're on. You're, you know, very secure. And you're also realizing that there's more possibilities. Things are starting to come to life. So, you know, while you're standing there, you have a lot of opportunities to really look deeper into things and see which is your next step. Wow. Look at that. Ace of Wands, beautiful. New projects are on the horizon. You're feeling more inspired. You're urging yourself to create more. Maybe you found a hobby that you're quite interested in or you know, a book that you like to read and you're quite enjoying yourself. So you're it's a new beginning. You know, this could be from something that you're doing that will bring you some sort of uh, material gains. You know, maybe somebody's said, okay, if you if you're a knitter or crocheter and they said, oh, wow, that's beautiful. And, you know, would you consider making one for me and, I, and I'll give you money, that sort of thing. But you're quite, you know, moving forward. You're understanding that there's all kinds of opportunities out there for growth for yourself. And now you're starting to realize that, hey, I can do this and enjoy doing it. Look at that. And the King of Cups. So most definitely, you know. You're emotionally balanced, you're feeling more compassionate, and whatever you're doing, you're pouring your heart into it. It, it makes you feel good, you know, you're in control, and you're feeling balanced about it. And this is like a leadership role for you, because you're showing everyone around you that, you know what, I can still do this, or I can do that. And it gives them hope for their own future moving forward. So that's a great inspiration for everyone around you and the hair font yeah you know that's a leadership role you're listening to other people you're feeling letting them feel secure in you you know they can come to you with any matter and you'll rule over it fairly you know you're you've been through many things in your life and you like to help others so you're you know, when they come to you and ask you different things, you can show them that, eh, you know what, there's forgiveness here. There's boundaries, of course, but there's lots of wisdom that you have to offer others. And the Nine of Swords. Yeah. 
You've been worrying about something for a while. In fact, you're probably a little bit in fear of making these decisions in your life. Or maybe you've made one and now you're all stressed out about it. Did I make the right one? Well, you know, I think for your case in term that you have, you know, this is not a hopeless situation. You can talk things over and, and get things off your chest so that you're not feeling, you know, all stressed out and worried at night. So, you know, take your time and things will get better. All right, I'm going to shuffle and deal you an angel or a card, but your stress is going to leave. You're just worried needlessly about something. You're thinking that it's going to go one way and it's not. So just breathe as best you can. It's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I am watching over you, guiding you, and protecting you during these changes. And there you are. And on that note, I will say goodbye for now. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will talk to you again next week. Bye for now.